Welcome, welcome. We have an awesome lineup of institutions for you to hear from tonight. Welcome to the American Heritage School Virtual College Fair. I have a quick, some quick housekeeping items for you before we get kicked off. First of all, we know that you have great questions and we wanna make sure those questions get answered. So at any point during the presentations um, and you don't have to wait until um, the school presents to ask the question, put your question in the Q&A. Along with your question, make sure you list the college or institution that you hope answers the question so that they know how to respond. As a helpful reminder, this is a webinar. So your microphone and your cameras are turned off so our panelists cannot see or hear you. There are more sessions happening um, in the hour after this hour long um, session. So make sure that you, uh, so you still have time to sign up for additional sessions. This session is being recorded and will be available for playback within about a week at that same website where you registered. So again, those of you that are just joining us, uh, make sure you put those questions in the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen and um, make sure you list out the college or university that um, you're hoping answers your question. So without further ado, I'm going to kick it off and I'm going to introduce Eckerd College. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining today. I am going to try my best to get my screen shared appropriately here. We did a little bit of a, a trial um, beforehand. So thank you, Courtney, for that. Um, again, as Courtney said, my name is Becky, and I am the <clears throat> Assistant Director of Admissions at Eckerd College. Um, I'm excited to be here and present to all of you today. Um, hopefully, everyone can see this presentation. Um, um, and we'll go ahead and get it kicked off. So Eckerd College is located just about three, three and a half hours on the other coast from everybody here tonight. We're in St. Petersburg, Florida, which has about 250,000 residents. Um, we've recently been named the youngest city in Florida. So with that comes a lot of fun and exciting opportunities to engage. Age, um, when you're not on our beautiful campus. So we do have about 188 acres on campus. Most of our students are residential, meaning that they are living on campus all four years. After your first year, it is not required, but it just lends itself to um, kind of the campus community and the, and the residence life feel of it. And also when in your four years are you going to be able to live on the beach? So <laughs> lots of students take advantage of that. All right. So um, some of the things that set Eckerd apart, you're going to be hearing from a lot of amazing schools tonight, um, but you're likely wondering, what did we come to Eckerd to study? Some of our top majors include marine sciences. About 50% of our applicants do say that that is what they want to major um, in when coming to Eckerd, followed closely by business administration, psychology is always very popular, and animal studies is gaining traction as well. Environmental studies is huge with us. Some other things that make Eckerd unique, all of our students, our first year students, begin um, Eckerd with autumn term. So this is a three week orientation academic hybrid period that you arrive to campus before all of the returning students are here. So you get a chance to really just be the only people on campus, obviously with your professors and some um, student leaders on campus as well, but you move into the dorms and you're taking one class on a daily basis. So it's an intensive course of study, but you're also in the afternoons, um, you take that one class in the mornings. In the afternoons, you're really getting accustomed to Eckerd's traditions. Um, and again, just moving in and getting settled before all the upperclassmen return in the beginning of September. Um, so beach life is obviously very popular at Eckerd. We take advantage of our mile of beach front. Um, full disclosure, this was a pre-COVID photo. So now you will see all of our students masked with a six foot distance, um, except when they're in their, um, their individual dorms. So most of our classes are being held outside, um, which is, again is just a wonderful way to be able to kind of pivot and have outdoor classrooms. Think outside is Eckerd's motto. So we've really been able to embrace that, particularly um, within um, the boundaries recently of recent times. Um, so in closing, um, 
and I will, after I finish with this slide, tell you a little bit about the admissions process, but definitely check out the colleges that change lives. I know I have another colleague on this who is another Florida school in this book. It's a distinct honor to be in this um, 40 colleges group. What places Eckerd in this, it's basically 40 colleges that are doing things a little bit differently and trying to get you to think outside of the well-known schools, investigate schools to see what their niche is. So for us, it's really that emphasis on mentorship. From day one, you're placed with an academic as well as a student mentor to really guide you through your process. Um, so your process will begin during your senior year, August 1st, you can submit application. Um, and we are in the Common App and we waive the application fee prior to December 1st. Our averages are about a 3.5 unweighted GPA. We are test optional next year, hopefully rolling that into the future. When we do accept scores, um, it's about a 1200 on the SAT and a 26 27 on the ACT, and those are super scored. Um, I'm looking at my phone, making sure I'm not going over my time, but if you do have any questions, feel free to drop it in the chat and I'll be more than happy to um, answer for you. Thank you. Thanks so much, Rebecca, to you and to Eckerd College. Next up, I have the opportunity to introduce to you New College of Florida. Okay, can I don't know. Hopefully, y'all can see and hear me. Um, okay, so um, we can we can hear you, but I cannot see your presentation yet. You can't. It says that I am screen sharing. Um, let me see here. Maybe stop and try one more time. Yeah, let me. Now we can see it. Yeah. Now you can. Okay, yep. good. Okay, then let me click back to it. Um, okay, so, all right, so um, this is New College of Florida's waterfront. Um, it is a beautiful campus. So we're, we're located over in Sarasota. We're actually um, about uh, 30 minutes south of Eckerd College, and we are the other school in the Colleges That Change Lives um, consortium that, uh, that <laughs> my colleague here was just talking about. So um, we are a very small school as well, um, but we are public. So we're a little bit different from Eckerd in that way. Um, but um, we have about 850 students total. And um, we are, see right here on the map down in Sarasota. Um, these are a, a few photos of our campus, but we are actually an honors college. So all of the classes that you take at New College will be a little bit more rigorous, a little bit more writing intensive, um, but they'll also be very small classes. So on average, we have about 11 students in a class. Um, and um, one of the paramount features of the way that we conduct our programming is that we want to make sure students are getting the um, com combination of their edu education, their, their college coursework, as well as career building skills. Um, so we um, have worked very hard with um, what we call the CEO on campus, the Center for Career Engagement and Opportunities. Um, and their office is dedicated to helping our students um, find internships, apply for internships, write their resumes, all of that kind of um, professional help that they need to, to get themselves out in the real world after new college, um, but also um, while they're a student, um, be gaining those experiences as well. So um, with that, we also have a mentorship program with our alum um, so that our students can actually see um, what their careers might be like um, and work with uh, those those former students of ours um, their whole way through New College if they would like to. Um, with that mentoring, we also have a very different system of advising at New College. Um, so basically, um, all of our faculty are actually advisors, uh, and your faculty member will be assigned to you based on your interests. So if you're coming in saying, you know, oh, I, I love political science, I really want to go on to law school or something like that, you'll be matched hopefully with a professor who will spend who, or who will spend the whole four years with you, um, mentoring you through that program, 
helping you to prepare for those law school applications and, and things like that. Um, with that too, um, average class size at New College is about 11. So they're very small classes. Um, this upcoming year, um, it's going to be a student's choice if they wanna live on campus or off campus and do distance learning. Um, students can also do hybrid if they want to, if they wanna take some classes in person, some classes online. Um, it's very, very flexible. Um, as you'll find with most things at New College, it's very flexible. So um, with that, um, we do have some really cool new certificate programs going on, um, as well as a dual degree um, with uh, the University of Florida so that our students have the opportunity to get a dual bachelor's in um, engineering if they would like to. Um, I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast. Hopefully y'all can keep up. Um, okay, so these are our areas of concentration. We have a wide range of options. Um, we are a liberal arts and sciences institution. So you'll see a lot of the natural sciences, the social sciences. Um, we have art, theater, music programs. There's, there's a lot to choose from here. Um, but um, with that too, um, you know, the, the um, excuse me. With these programs, all of these can be um, a full program. Um, you can do half programs, kind of like a major and minor situation. Um, you can combine programs and do intersectional research if you would like to. Um, it's it's kind of up to you how you want to design that. So it's it's very once again flexible. Um, with the way that our that our students here uh, choose their classes, um, something that we do a little bit differently is that you actually you meet with your advisor. Um, while you're on campus for orientation week. Um, and then you go to something that we call mini classes for two days on campus, which is where every professor will come out and give a 15 minute presentation on every class that's available for that semester. So you have the opportunity to go to as many mini classes as you would like to, get an idea of what you would like to take, what, what sounds cool to you, what sounds fun. Um, and then you meet back with your advisor again and actually create your course schedule at that, at that time. So, um, we don't ever want you to actually sign up for classes before you even know what's going on in them, before you're excited about them, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, so it's a little bit different. And then um, when you actually take the courses, our professors do not assign letter grades or um, GPAs or you know, percentiles or anything like that. Um, when you take your classes, you will actually get back a narrative evaluation from each professor where they will talk about all the things that you did really well and all the things that they want you to continue working on. So it's a lot of information that you're getting back every semester, but you will be in constant contact with your professors. They'll get to know you really well, that kind of stuff. Um, so it's a little bit different. Um, but um, our hope is that you're able to build on that feedback every semester and become a better student. So it's a little bit different. Um, and then you also have the opportunity to create your own classes at New College, which is what we call tutorials. So um, that's an option as well. If there's something that you want to take that's not already offered in our curriculum, you can actually get together with a professor and create a curriculum for a new class. Um, we also have independent study project opportunities as well as a senior capstone project opportunity. So our students can actually design their own research and have that opportunity as an undergraduate rather than, you know, potentially even waiting till graduate school. Um, <laughs> this slide is just us bragging a little bit. Uh, within uh, six years of graduation, over 80% of our um, graduates continue their education. Over 44 earn at least one additional degree. Um, we are the nation's top public college for producing the highest percentage of undergraduates who go on to earn their PhD. Um, this is just a quick look at cost of attendance, just to get a general idea. All of our students are offered um, are offered their um, scholarships and, and things like that. Thanks so much, Rochelle, to you yeah, and um, New College um, of Florida. That six minutes goes by super, super yes, fast. Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> um, but I would also like to invite everyone listening, make sure that you put those questions in the Q&A um, at any time and our panelists are watching that. So next up, I have the opportunity to introduce Stetson University. All right. Oh, there we go. 
All right, my name is Christopher Jordan. I am the Assistant Director of Admissions here at Stetson University. I'm so happy to have the opportunity to spend a little bit of time and definitely um, share some information with regards to Stetson University. So Stetson University, we are located in Deland, Florida. So we are just about 30 minutes outside of Daytona Beach. We're also 45 minutes northeast of Orlando. So this provides you know, the students the opportunity to explore the Deland area, but also the opportunity to explore these other various cities um, as well. So as you can see at a glance, we have a little over 3,100 students. Um, this is obvious, uh, obviously uh, prior to COVID. So since COVID, we've had um, roughly 50% of our students uh, remaining on campus. The other 50% of the students are uh, taking their classes remotely. So um, from that background, we have um, a, a strong representation of students coming from 45 different states, 64 different countries, four different territories. Um, so as of right now, um, we're currently seeing that around 69% of our students are coming from inside of the state. Um, the others are coming from out, uh, outside. So um, generally, prior to COVID, it, it'll be around 60-40. So we're we're still uh, very happy to still have that um, that number. Um, so moving along here, um, we're very fortunate to have a very very uh, strong um, relationship with our faculty members. So we have a 13 to one student to faculty ratio. So students are guaranteed to have that personalized one-on-one -on -one attention with their professors. 95% of our, our faculty members um, hold a terminal degree in their field. So you are guaranteed to have all of your courses taught by your professors. Right now, we're averaging close to 20 students in a class. Um, since COVID, um, we're very fortunate to still have um, students in person-to-person uh, -person, uh, meeting in classes. So we have uh, reduced that to an uh, average of 12 students in a class. Um, we are actually a part of the Phi Beta Kappa, so we've been a part of the Phi Beta Kappa. This is the, this is the highest national honor society in the country. Um, close to you know 10% of, of schools have this um, national recognition. We are the oldest school um, in the state of Florida to have that um, that recognition as well. So moving along here, we have four different uh, colleges. In, um, in school. So we have uh, over 100 different areas of study. So I tell students all the time um, that you can certainly uh, plan out uh, where you want to go if you have a particular major, particular interest, but it's certainly okay to double major. It's certainly okay to major and minor. So we have students doing that all the time. Um, so we're very uh, well known for our College of Law. Our College of Law is ranked number one in child advocacy. We are also ranked number three in legal writing. So um, those are just uh, some of the, the names and factors that we have with that. We definitely, um, it, we encourage our students to explore um, studying outside of Stetson. So close to 65% of our students uh, participate in a study abroad. So these uh, study abroad opportunities could be faculty led, um, there's opportunities to be a part of student exchange um, as well. So if you want to do something um, at a shorter length, that could be up to two weeks or a weekend. If you want to do something a little bit longer, that could be a semester or a year long opportunity as well. So we offer our session promise. So as long as students are taking the necessary classes, they're passing their classes, we guarantee that they'll be able to finish the, the, their program in four years or less. They're also guaranteed to have uh, internship opportunities, faculty student um, research opportunities. So the opportunity to do some grad um, research opportunities with your professors. Um, for those who may be interested in music, you are guaranteed to have a public performance. So not along, uh, alongside providing performances with your peers, but we're also going to provide professional headshots. We're going to advertise um, across the community, across the region. So we wanna make sure that you have you know, those opportunities as well. We are right now posting a 91% post-graduation success rate. So this uh, guarantees that our students are able to obtain um, jobs six months after graduation, or they're able to get in some, some sort of grad um, program as well. So right now, of course, we do have uh, various different uh, scholarship opportunities. So our students are gonna be evaluated so our, um, the scholarships here, they are renewable for the four years. Um, and we also have some special uh, scholarships, which does include talent, athletics. There are also some donor-founded uh, scholarships. There are also some institutional uh, scholarships as well. 
So there are two different ways the students certainly can apply um, to Stetson University. That is through the Stetson um, application, the common application. Of course, you know, those students who are looking to apply, um, they'll need your official transcript, will need an essay or a graded paper, a letter of recommendation from a counselor or teacher. We are test optional. So if you do want to submit your test scores, we do have that opportunity as well. Um, these are just, just some typical um, numbers. This, these are not the GPA or the test scores that you need to have in order to get into Stetson University. Just some important dates. Right now, we have gone through our um, early action, early decision deadlines. We, we're uh, still accepting applications for our regular decision. Um, we do obviously have a fast you know, prior um, deadline for November 1st. We have some Hatter days coming up in the month of March. And um, obviously we have our national deadline of May 1st. So I am, um, I am done with my time. So if you all have any additional questions, please put those in the Q&A. Thank you. Christopher, thank you so much to you and Stetson University. Wow, I hope you guys are having fun so far and enjoying this format. It's a great way to get to know um, a lot of colleges in a short amount of time. Next up, I have the distinct pleasure to introduce to you um, the University of Central Florida. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. So my name is Kiana Machado, and I do serve as one of the senior assistant directors for undergraduate admissions at UCF. Now, UCF is one of the largest universities in the nation, the largest here in Florida. We do currently have about 71,000 students, but that for us just means that we can provide our students more opportunities on our campus. We do offer nearly 100 undergraduate degrees, as well as over 100 minors to help complement these degrees. So these range from humanities, performing arts, um, theater, sciences, if you can name it, we definitely have it here for you, have it here for you at UCF, or if not, definitely have a way to get you into that career field. And we also offer over uh, 650 clubs and organizations to get you involved with the campus community. Now UCF is recognized nationally as the best Valley University and one of the best, uh, one of the most innovative schools by US News and World Report. We're also very big on research and have over $200 million available in research funding. Now here we have um, our four campus locations in the central Florida area. So top left hand side, we have our main campus in East Orlando. It's been our home since 1968. Then we have our Rosen College of Hospitality Management off of International Drive. In bottom left, you'll see our UCF downtown location, the newest of our campuses that opened back in fall 2019. And then we have our Academic Health Sciences campus over in an area called Lake Nona, which is basically the medical city in Central Florida and is home to our medical school. Now, to be able to consider a student for admission, we do require some key items. The first, of course, is to go ahead and get a set application. So we are a member of the Common app. You can definitely apply through there, but we also have our UCF online application for you. And students are strongly encouraged to apply about September to November of that senior year. Now you do have to pay an application fee of $30, but we definitely accept fee waivers. So if you have an SAT, ACT, NACAC waiver, please email that information to us and we can use it to go ahead and waive that fee. And then you do have to self-report your high school course history and grades, which basically eliminates the need to get us your official high school transcript because we will pull everything from this SPARC form, which is exclusive to the university. And once we do get that information in, we'll definitely do a recalculation of that high school GPA based only on your academic core classes. So English, math, science, social science, and modern languages only. And then we do still require official SAT or ACT scores because as a public institution um, in Florida, the Florida Board of Governors does still require that we get this information. And here you have some of our stats for our fall 2020 class. So here we have our application numbers, admits, and students to actually enroll to UCF, but really draw your attention to our mid-ranges. This classifies the middle 50% of the freshmen that came to UCF this past fall. That means that 25% fell below a 3.96, 1250, 26, and they were still offered admission to the university. So keep that in mind as you go through the application process. And also these are fall numbers. So let's say you're a junior joining us this evening. If you're thinking of applying to UCF for fall 2022, you will receive automatic consideration for summer 2022 and spring 2023, 
both of which are not as competitive as that fall semester. And the committee will still allow you extra time during the review to get us updated information that can strengthen that application, such as your mid-year grades um, or updated test scores if you have the ability to retest. But we also have our top 10 nights program at UCF. So to qualify, you must be attending a Florida high school, rank in the top 10% of your senior class, score at least an 1100 on the SAT or 22 on the ACT, and complete four years of math by the end of senior year. To be considered for the program, you do have to apply to UCF by January 15th of that senior year. So by this date, we have to have your application and your SPARC form and test scores for us to begin that review process. And all qualified applicants receive a decision on or before March 1st of that senior year. Now with this program, the guarantee is for summer, fall, or spring, depending upon which of the three you are most competitive for. Now from undergraduate admissions, we also offer merit scholarships to incoming freshmen. It is automatic consideration once you're actually offered admission to the university for the summer or fall semesters. Now with our freshman awards, it's not only based upon your academic credentials, but also on the timing of the application. What that means is that what you may have qualified for in November, early December may change come January or February because typically by mid to late December, we have allocated the vast majority of this funding. So it becomes that much more competitive from that point on to receive one of our merit scholarships. We only offer these to about 25% of the incoming class. So typically you're looking to be around our fall averages to have the best chance. And the scholarships range anywhere from $6,000 to $30,000 over your four years at UCF. Now you definitely have other ways to connect with us in this virtual environment. So on our website, we do have um, an information session that's recorded for you, as well as financial aid videos, housing videos, and tons more resources for you all. And then every Wednesday at 4 p.m., we do host live um, student panels if you have any question of a current UCF night. And for more information, please reach out to us here. You have our email address as well as our phone number, and we're always happy to assist. Diana, thank you so much to you and the University of Central Florida. Um, those of you listening and watching, make sure that you don't hesitate to put those questions in the Q&A, whether it's for one of the presentations that you've already seen or one of the presentations that is coming up. Um, next up, I have the, the pleasure to introduce to you Florida Southern College. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for being here virtually today. Uh, my name is Anna Hopkins. I am one of the assistant directors of admission at Florida Southern. Um, so Florida Southern College is located in Lakeland, Florida, um, halfway between Tampa and Orlando, probably about three hours from um, South Florida. We are on the smaller side of things. We have about 3,500 students on campus. Our average class size is about 18 with about a 13 to one student faculty ratio. Academically speaking, we have over 70 different programs of study studying, stemming from our five different schools. Um, our business program tends to be our largest. We hold an accred accreditation that puts us in the top 5% of programs worldwide. We offer a direct entry nursing program, a top ranked school of education. Um, and then our school of arts and sciences encompasses things like um, computer science, communication, psychology, criminology, um, marine biology, biotechnology, about half of students at Florida Southern will end up double majoring. So for students who have a lot of different interests and passions, there's definitely the opportunity to really make your education your own um, and to study a variety of different things. No matter what you end up studying at Florida Southern, we want our students to be active participants in their education. And we've been nationally recognized for our commitment to engaged learning, which essentially means that you're not just gonna be sitting in the classroom um, being lectured at for an hour, you are going to be taking what you're learning in the textbook and applying it to real life situations. So for example, um, our freshman biology students do antibiotic research through the Tiny Earth Network. Um, our political science and psychology students might present nationally at conferences every year. Um, you might be a computer science student working with programming drones and autonomous vehicles. Um, but essentially, this is super important to 
the education at Florida Southern, we wanna make sure our students are getting that hands-on experience to prepare them for a life after graduation. Um, all of our classes are taught by professors. So there are no grad assistants, there are no teaching assistants. Um, you know that when you're coming into the classroom, you are being taught by absolute experts within their field. When I think about what makes Florida Southern unique, um, I think about our three guarantees. So we guarantee all students an experience to study abroad, participate in an internship and graduate in four years. So the study abroad program is built into your tuition. Um, you can choose to study abroad within your major or learn about something new. So that might be um, studying history in Germany, um, studying biology in Hawaii and New Zealand. Um, you can really take what you've been learning in Florida and apply it to a global perspective. Second guarantee is a guaranteed internship. Um, again, we wanna make sure our students are active participants in their education. And part of this is getting them hands-on experience to then prepare them for a graduate program or for a job after graduation. Um, we have students who will intern at companies like Publix, Lockheed Martin, Walt Disney, um, the Detroit Tigers who do their spring training in Lakeland. Um, there are a lot of fantastic opportunities, not only in Lakeland, but also between Tampa and Orlando um, to get students that kind of um, experience they'll need to succeed. And then we do also guarantee you'll graduate in four years. So that is just our, you know, you're invest in, investing in yourself and your education, and this is our investment in you. We wanna make sure that you're able to graduate in that four year time period and then move on to a graduate program or research or a job. Overall, we have about a 97% placement rate within six months to a year after graduation. Um, so not only are our students graduating with fantastic research experience and having traveled the world, um, but again, they are prepared for that next step, whatever it might look like. In terms of the application process, um, it is free to apply. We accept an application through our website, the Common App or the Coalition App, and we are on a rolling admission. So once we receive your entire completed application, it takes two to six weeks for us to get you an admissions decision. With that application, we do wanna see your high school transcripts. We want to see a personal statement. Um, we have waived the letter of recommendation this year. Um, we again would like to see that, but understand that with COVID, it might not necessarily be feasible. Um, and then we are also test optional starting this year. Um, we do recommend if you fall within the admitted student profile shown at the bottom of this page, we do recommend submitting SAT or ACT scores. Um, the average admitted student had about a 3.82 GPA and that is weighted. So we do wait for um, AP, IB, honors, dual enrollment, any of those higher level courses, we accept those credits and we do wait for the additional rigor of those classes. We're at about a 51% acceptance rate. Um, and I will also make note that about 45% of our students do come from out of state and internationally. Um, we are a residential campus community with guaranteed housing for all four years. Um, so it, it is nice to know that you're, you're coming to campus and you're meeting students from all over the United States and um, all over the world. When we review an application for admission to Florida Southern, you are automatically reviewed for merit scholarship up to $21,000 a year. And we are a scholarship stacking school. So we do accept things like Florida Bright Futures, Florida Prepaid, the Florida Ease Grant, um, as well as additional scholarship opportunities through our fine arts programs, our division two athletics. Um, we have four full ride scholarships um, that do require a separate application. I am happy to answer any questions you guys might have in the chat. Um, and I appreciate you taking the time to learn more about all of these fantastic schools. Anna, thanks so much to you and for, um, to Florida Southern College. Our final presentation tonight will be from the University of Tampa. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Rachel Dugo, and I'm an admissions counselor here for the University of Tampa. I am an alum and also a current student. So we're located right here on the west coast of Florida, kind of central. The best way I like to put it in perspective for everyone is that we're about an hour away from Orlando and about four, four and a half ish hours away from Miami. Again, right on the west coast in the city of Tampa. We also consist of St. Petersburg Beach and Clearwater Beach as well here in the Tampa Bay area. So these are about 20 to 30 minutes right off our campus. 
Um, so a nice little perk is that they are super close and they're great for our students to enjoy on the weekends. There is lots happening right now, um, especially down here in Tampa Bay. So right around our campus, we are home to three major league sports teams. So you have the Tampa Bay Lightning, you can actually walk to their arena. We are home to the Buccaneers, um, which we actually have the pleasure of hosting the Buccaneers Super Bowl Parade right on our campus, um, right in the river. And we also are home to the Tampa Bay Rays. They play right over the bridge in St. Petersburg. I like to say you'll never be bored here in our environment because the city life is super new and up and coming. Um, we have Curtis Hickson right across the river from our campus where lots of events are held. There's lots of room to get active as you can see in that middle picture on the river walk and lots of new outdoor spaces. We have Armature Works right on the water, Sparkman Wharf right on the water. Um, and we're just about to open come I think late March, um, a whole new kind of hangout spot called Midtown Tampa. So just some quick facts about the University of Tampa. We are a medium-sized private school. So medium-sized means that, oops, medium-sized meaning that we have roughly 9,600 students enrolled. About 1,000 of those students are graduates. We look at about 90 or 8,600 for undergraduate enrollment. Um, you will always be taught by a faculty member here at the University of Tampa. So never by a teacher's assistant, a graduate assistant, anything like that. Um, and again, our average class size is about 22 students, which sets our teacher to student ratio at about one to 17. So always a smaller classroom environment. We say that we have students coming from Massachusetts all the way to Madagascar. So we do represent all 50 states on our campus as well as 132 different countries. So our average student comes about a thousand miles away from home. However, we have plenty of Florida residents on our campus and it is a great way to meet people from not only all over the US, but from all over the world as well. The best way to describe our campus is an urban environment, but still has a small campus feel. So unlike other universities located in a city, we kind of have the best of both worlds because we are completely separated from downtown Tampa by the Hillsborough River. So our campus has the perk of that small campus environment, but then you could just cross the bridge and you're right there in downtown city life. These are just a few pictures of campus life. Right there on the left, that's my favorite place. It's Plant Park right on the edge of campus. Again, you can see that we truly are footsteps through downtown Tampa. And that's where a majority of our students have their internships, which is great because they're in walking distance from our campus. Our favorite place on campus is probably our fitness facility because we offer a wide variety of fitness classes each week to our students. So we do things like yoga classes, boot camps, spin classes, totally free for our students. And right now our newest construction project is adding an addition to this for both academic and recreational purposes. So adding some classrooms, professor's offices, research facilities, and then adding two additional pools to our campus, um, adding sand volleyball courts and um, basketball courts for our students to enjoy. We have over 200 areas of study on campus. So if you're undecided or happen to switch up your mind along the way, you're definitely in great hands here at UT. And a lot of our majors are very interchangeable, which is good to know because you can swip, uh, swap around without necessarily falling too far behind. We believe in experiential education here at UT, which is um, basically not lecture heavy classes. We want you to really get that hands on experience and dive deep into your field. So as you can see in these pictures, regardless of the major that you decide here at UT, you will be getting hands on experience. We do have our own separate marine bio field station for our students to take our boats out into the water. We have our huge nursing facility that just opened up last fall of 2020 um, with our huge simulation lab for those nursing students. And we do have one of the top nursing programs in the state of Florida and about 100% pass rate on the NCLEX the last seven out of eight years. So marine bio and nursing tend to be some of our most popular and top majors on our campus, as well as our business school. And you can see down on the bottom, we have our financial trading center where those students are getting their hands wet in the stock market industry um, and trading stocks there. So because we believe in that learn by doing experiential learning, internships are a huge opportunity here at UT. We are located right, in, uh, right next to downtown Tampa. So again, lots of internships are walking distance um, and we do have our own specialized career service center that will help you, um, you know, hold mock interviews with their students. They will help you create a resume, they take headshots. They have all the connections and opportunities already available for our students to utilize. We have three separate options to go ahead and travel abroad. So just your typical semester or year long programs. We offer travel courses for just about every major, which is 
Um, you go abroad at the end of the semester for a quick two or three week excursion. And we also accept credits from the semester at sea program as well. So just as some important information, our admissions deadlines. Right now we are in regular decision, meaning that if you have everything in by March 1st, you will hear back from us by April 1st at the latest. And then again, we are test optional. So we just need your transcript essay and then we recommend at least one letter of recommendation for right now. We also offer merit-based awards and you're automatically considered for them and our freshmen can receive anywhere between $4,000 to $18,000. And that is all I have, thank you. Thanks so much to you, Rachel, and the University of Tampa. I'd now like to invite um, all the panelists to turn back on their cameras, um, and I'd like them to share um, some of their expert advice. We might have some seniors on, but we most likely have mostly junior families, um, maybe some sophomore families, maybe some freshman families. So what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? We will go in the order that, um, that you presented. So Rebecca up first. Absolutely. So my, <clears throat> my general advice is to make sure that you visit a variety of schools. Obviously visiting poses a bit of a challenge these days due to COVID, hopefully that will be changing. Um, during your senior year. We are offering a, a limited amount of campus tours, lots of virtual opportunities, um, but engage with, with schools that are a variety of sizes, large and small, in-state, out-of-state, public, private. Um, ultimately, this is your decision, so try not to go to a college to appease a girlfriend, boyfriend, mom, dad, grandparent. This is your future. Um, so that would be my best advice. Hi, so um, my advice would be to talk to current students as much as possible. Um, I actually have a current student here with me on this call. Um, <laughs> Sarah is here with me. So um, if you do have any questions, please put them in the chat for Sarah. Um, but all the times that we offer opportunities for, for students to get in touch with our current students, um, that's really what seems to help them make their decision um, and to really understand you know, what the true student experience is like and not just what I'm telling you it's like. Awesome. So if I had to, of course, um, provide some advice to, to some uh, current uh, seniors, juniors, sophomores alike, I encourage, um, like everyone else has said, you know, take the opportunity to visit as many schools as you can and to be able to kind of put together a list of your ideal school. And really from that list, you'll kind of um, find that you'll be able to kind of mark off the schools that doesn't, you know, meet that list. And really from there, that's where you'll hopefully be able to find, you know, that ideal school. I mean, we are offering um, on-campus visits, you know, money through, through Fridays. Um, we, of course, are, are, are limited, so you'll have to, of course, uh, register, register for those visits. Um, we'll be able to provide you a, um, a presentation and be able to allow you all to go on campus tours. And we also have the personalized um, Zoom if you, uh, if you want to be able to schedule a call with your recruiter, you need to be able to get to know your recruiter on a, um, a better basis you can. And we also have opportunities to be able to connect with our current students as well, so. Honestly, I'm just gonna piggyback off of what uh, was already said. It's great information. Just kind of get a feel for each school that you are considering. Um, definitely try to go visit the campus if it's possible, even in these times, if that's not an opportunity that the school is offering, do a virtual tour. I mean, take advantage of the resources at your disposal. I mean, for UCF, I can, I can say that we're offering virtual campus tours. We're offering those live student panels. So take advantage of these opportunities to connect with the school, with the students that are currently attending that school. I definitely know that meeting fatigue is definitely a thing right now that we're all experiencing, but definitely as you do this search, you really just have to take advantage of these different resources. Um, that are being provided to you. I mean, I hate to say what everyone has already said, but it, it really is true. There are so many resources out there, whether it be stalking the school on Instagram, whether it be connecting with students through platforms like Zemi. Um, I get paid to talk to students and to tell them about Florida Southern. So utilize me as a resource. Um, even if it's just a question about 
You know, what do I do on the weekends? Where's the closest Starbucks? You know, I'll, we can answer those questions for you. And as you're, as you're thinking about what's important to you and your education in the next four years, um, you know, there are going to be so many people who are going to be there to be resources for you. And we can't get you the information unless we know what you need. So please, you know, utilize us specifically in the admiss admissions office um, to help. Yeah, I would, um, I'm obviously the last one. So I agree with all, um, you know, everyone before me. My number one thing would just to be, um, I'm sure everyone can agree, stay on top of your emails. I always recommend making a separate email address for just colleges um, so you can really keep everything organized. Um, and again, taking advantage of all the resources. I know now more than ever, we're connecting with students in lots of different ways. Um, I have Zooms every day with, you know, juniors all the way to students that just are about to arrive to our campus. So definitely utilizing all the new platforms that all our campuses have created. And I would say have some fun. Um, this is the first time in your life that you really get to choose um, where you're going to have your next adventure. So while there hasn't been a ton for us to be really excited about in the last year, this is definitely one of those things that you can have fun with and, and really celebrate. And with that, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, as you close out, there's going to be a quick four question survey and we hope that you'll provide us with some valuable feedback. There's still one more set of sessions. So there's still time to sign up and to hear from some great, um, some other great schools. This was recorded, as I mentioned before, and the recording will be available for playback within one week at that same website where you registered. Have so much, um, or enjoy, and thanks so much for joining us, and have a great night, everyone. Bye-bye.